Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to knit this lovely cowl or neck warmer. Uh, I've been watching a movie. It was a Turkish movie and uh, I really enjoyed how this uh, co uh, police officer was wearing this neck warmer in winter. <laughs> and uh, so I thought to myself, let me knit this, which I already have yarn that I bought. So let me show the yarn and let's get started. This is the yarn that I bought from Etsy. She's a Canadian seller. It said super soft merino wool and she was selling it for 16 Canadian dollars plus shipping. So I said to myself, I'm always looking for yarn, right? So I thought, oh, okay, this is a local. I don't have to worry about custom fee. So I went and purchased it, but I noticed it's not, it's not, um, it's not soft at all. For me, it's not soft. The yarns that I buy from Sandra, her yarns are super soft. So when I compare it to that, this is not soft, but it's still, it's still not bad at all. So there's a hundred gram here and uh, I bought this and I said to myself, what am I going to do? Because I was thinking, let me try and see what kind of yarn it is. If I need to buy more, I can always uh, order more yarn from her. But no, I, I'm not going to go back and uh, buy from her because it's not soft at all. So I, I was thinking, what can I make with this yarn? And when I was watching that movie, I said to myself, oh my goodness, this would be perfect for this yarn and I can use it up. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cast on about 22 inches long. So it has to be around our head, right? So it has to go down. So it has to fit our head and it can be a little bit snuggly just to point that out so let me cast on and i'll be right back okay so i've chained oh i forgot yeah i chained 36 stitches and i did measure around my head so it does fit snuggly just to show you when when you stretch it but this is going to be a rib stitch. This is so easy and I just want to use up this yarn. I, I'm going to give it away. So it's going to be knitting around or you can knit it back and forth. It's up to you. This knitting needle is pretty long. Okay, so I moved to a shorter uh, circular needle, it's 16 inches, and the knitting needle I'm using is a 6.5 millim uh, uh, knitting needles. Okay, so I am going to go around, okay, to do that I will show you a trick. I'm going to do crisscross. I do this uh, when I'm knitting my car. Uh, top down cardigans on uh, the underarm so what I do is and be careful it has to be straight so we don't want to make an infinity scarf <laughs> that twists I think that's what's it called okay so I am going to move these and make a crisscross like this okay so I'm going to knit the first stitch oops sorry knit knit Okay, and then purl, purl, so I will put a marker here, okay, I put my marker just to, sh well, I already have this tail, so I know that this is my first stitch, so I'm going to be knitting two knit, two purl, all the way. Just like this. I'm going to count because I have two knit here. And I'm going to see if I have, when I come here, these two stitches should be purl. I'm going to count and I'll be right back. Okay, so I counted. It looks like this is a knit stitch, right? So these are going to be knit stitches too. So I need to increase two stitches just to uh, make this purl. And then it would be knit purl. 
So uh, I need to make an increase. Okay, so to do that, I will do an increase here, just like this. Here is my two knit. So I'm going to continue purling, two purl, two knit. Okay, I will continue knitting all the way to the end and I will meet you right here because I need to make another increase to make this stitch a purl. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm at the end here and uh, I made my two knits. So I'm going to do my increase to uh, have a purl here. So I did one increase and I purl two. Okay, so I am going to start my second row, and I'm just going to repeat. I'm just going to do what I see. So this is a knit stitch, two knit, two purl, just like this. So I am going to continue knitting like this. And I think this is going to be small because this is a 16-inch um, circular needle, so it looks like it can be for a kid. Because I don't have enough yarn. It's uh, it's, it's very bulky yarn. I believe this is big, thicker than a six weight. So it is pretty thick. And um, yeah, I will use up, I will knit all of the yarn. And then I will come back to show how it looks like. If you're going to start one for yourself, just cast on enough uh, stitches uh, to measure your head. And then go from there and then knit just like this and around it's super easy and it's super fast to go and I will come back to show you how it looks like when I finish this and uh, it can be used as a mask as well in the winter weathers okay so I will be right back I have knit and I'm almost finished uh, finishing the ball of yarn so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bind off this is very bulky so I'm just gonna leave it the way it is but if you have yarn and then if you have let's say um, and if your yarn is a four weight or a three weight you can knit this longer and then you can fold it and wear it like this of course, it's going to be longer, but uh, other than that, this is perfect for, for a neck warmer or cowl. You can even make a hat if you uh, knit longer. Because uh, it was just uh, what you do is you knit the about eight inches and up to ten. So this is about a six inch. So this is perfect for a cow. Uh, like I said, I just wanted to use up the one ball that I had. And I noticed uh, when I'm knitting this, it, it is soft. So uh, I did uh, say at the beginning that it wasn't soft, but it, it is super soft. Yeah, so uh, what I'll do is I'll put the link below where I bought this yarn. And it is pretty nice. It's picking up my hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start binding off and also will show you how to bind off. And I just left a little bit of yarn to bind off. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit these two together like this. And what I'll do is I'll put the yarn here and I will knit these two together or better what I will do is okay I'm gonna knit these two together And I'm going to put this stitch back here and I'm going to knit these two together. Okay. And what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to purl. So what I'm doing is I'm knitting two stitches together and then I am purling two stitches together. And I will be 
knitting two stitches together. This is how I bind off when I'm uh, knitting uh, two knit two pearls. And I will, and this is how will it look like. See, and it is stretchy. Gives room. So I will continue binding off and I will come back to show you how to close this. There's going to be a gap here. I will show you how to close that. And I will be right back. Pearl two together. And I'm putting back the stitch to bind off and knit two together. It gives this nice look. I am knitting the last one. So I did my two knit and I am going to purl this last stitch and I have a little bit of yarn left. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, oh, sorry about that. So I'm going to secure this and pull this all the way just like this so there's a little bit of gap and then we can secure this and this is how it looks like okay, this would be the bottom and this would be the high so we need a tapestry needle it's pretty thick if you look at it it is thick so I need to play around Okay, so what I'm going to do is, as you can see, there's a big gap here, right? So I'm going to go between this stitch, this purl stitch here, and then just go between, and then go down, just to close it up a little bit, because we don't want that huge gap. So these would be all equal. And then I will weave this end. So I just wanted to show you a short tutorial on how uh, how to knit with a hundred gram of a yarn, a neck warmer. Now I will pretty long. So I will just cut this. I tried to use all up the yarn, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't. So I just have a little bit of this yarn left, and I will use that on my scarfs that I knit. So this is how it looks like when you wear it. And then on flat, this is how it looks like just to show you isn't this nice it's like milk super soft and the best thing is it stretches right that's what we need i hope you like this uh, tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy knitting <laughs>